Today's video, we're going to work on whips with an outside or an inside turn and that they would come on count six. So what I'm going to do, I'll just demonstrate the leader's footwork before we move on. Standard whip and one, two, three and four, five. Then I'm going to leave that whip six and then anchor my seven and eight. So I'll bring Kerry on and we'll just demonstrate that. And I'll do it in three different directions. And one, two, three, and four, five, turn six, anchor seven, and eight. So we'll do that from down the slot. And one, two, three, and four, five, over six, anchor seven, and eight. So you can see I'm leaving that whip on the six. I'm prepping my hand by the five, but I'm not actually leaving the girl until she gets around on the six. Let's flip that piece and get this direction. And one, two, three and four, five round six, seven and eight. So one of the key elements there is what I do with the connection with that right hand. I'm bringing the girl through on five, opening up that hand and I'm actually getting the rotation more through the right side of the body than I am the left. So I'm not really shoving the hand, I'm going to turn and then a little halo. And generally what counts do you like to have that left hand up by? Well, I'm starting to prep it on the four to five. So if I show that from this side, one, two, three, and I'm already starting to lift the hand. I step across on four, I rotate on five. This hand is gonna open and then the hand just trails over the top of the girl's forehead very subtly, doesn't really take a lot of connection to do that, and then I finish my triple at the end of the eight count. Okay. Why don't, while we're here, just demonstrate the girls' footwork? Absolutely, I'll do it in a number of different directions, but girls, I want to tell you that I'm demonstrating a pivot turn today. There's lots of different options I could, but you'll want to review, uh, excuse me, refer to our turn video in order to review the different styles of turns you have options for. So I'll go this direction side on first, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'll go vertical, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'll show it from the back end. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, very good. Um, so it's just a standard whip, and remember, waiting for that girl to get around on that five, so as you send the hand over on the six, even though you're leading more off the right side of the body, that it'll feel really natural for the girl because she's actually on the correct foot. Now, while we're on that, let's have a quick look at if I were to do a basket whip. One, two, three, and four. Back five, round six seven and eight. So you can see it's the same effect. So if you know your basket whip, you're going to leave that down the track, come across on four, open the body and leave her back on five. Then as you rotate your body, that's going to create the rotation for the girl. I can then step across on my six and then finish my anchor. All and right. Action. Anything you want to add to that? There is, but I have to do this. <laughs> One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. What I love is that Shane uses the tension of our body positions in order to slingshot me back, rather than using it specifically separate from his body, his arms to pull me back. Um, it allows it to be less abrupt and actually be a very smooth and integral um, growing depth in our connection. connection yeah. And girls, this footwork actually, if I may have the floor for just a moment, thank you, um, delays your turn by just a little bit. So we're, we're coming forward with our one, two, three, and four. He turns up, oh, I'm sorry, we're doing basket. <laughs> one, two, three, and you're going to either, either be hovering your place or starting to come back on the four. You're actually going to take your five back if you're executing a pivot turn. Turn six, turn seven and eight or whatever your, your ending happens to be there. So I'll do it from a couple different directions. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight, or one, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. So that gives you a good idea of how to do a pivot turn when the gentleman leaves an outside turn off of a basket whip. And just remember, girls, that the guy is still getting out of the way through that 4-5 count. So you really don't want to be stepping back. You want to be going as deep as you can into the connection 
if I do it this way so they can see you and look at your footwork. One, two, three, and four. I'm stepping across the track and moving that foot out of the way. She's waiting for me. See that? So we're not going early. She's waiting for that lead to go back. And then I can either do a basic or leave that outside. And we can talk more about that in our video on whips where we go over the basket whip. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about if we were to do a whip with an inside roll on that uh, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. I step across five. I'm leading her down the track. Then what happens? The hand comes across on six. I step across and then I finish my anchor. So if we were to do it the other way. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Did we do it this way? Probably not. <laughs> One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. You can see I'm not rushing to get that turn. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So five is down the track, six the hand goes across the forehead, little halo, and we get really nice rotation. Another thing I really like is when Shane is, I'm thinking maybe this side is the best way to show it off, when Shane is starting to shape my body for that inside turn, he hasn't quite let me go yet. He's using his entire body in conjunction with itself in order to shape, and then when he's going to execute the turn off of that top hand, the right hand lets go just in time so that I don't have any question. If you were to let that right hand go a little too early, then I might think something else is actually gonna be developing out of that, something more fancy. Uh, if he lets it go too late, he gets a big handful, which could be uncomfortable, so. Yeah. And if you practice these things and get the raw basics correct, it makes it really easy to get multiple turns out of your lead. So don't rush in to try and be, oh, I don't want to do multiple turns. Get those turns, the timing right, then move into multiple other things. And we'll have another video on doing multiple revolutions. Yay! All right?